Ari Shalawal. Uh, this is the brother Atazari. And the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. And we uh want to go into a lesson before we get started. As always, we want to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. We want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders at Great Millstone or uh, uh, GMS. We want to see say peace and blessings to the hopeful elect out there. All right, and we're going to jump right into this. Uh, me and the brother was building, uh, just speaking about the spirit versus the flesh. And as you see on the screen, you know, it's just a visual, okay? Because our spirit is constantly warring against our flesh and vice versa. They are contrary to one another, you know? And what we was talking about was it's just like a scoreboard. You look up at the scoreboard and, and it's the spirit versus the flesh. The flesh should be losing to the spirit. Especially at this 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 phase of the game, man. Your your flesh should be losing to your spirit. We supposed to we, we should be building more building more spiritually than we are sowing to our flesh. Okay? At the, at especially in the times like the apostle boy say, especially in the times that we living in, man. Okay, especially with the things that are going on. And truth be told, it ain't much fun to be had any goddamn ways. You know, you you might get your little pleasures, whatever your little stick may be, you know. But other than that, it should be really more spiritual building than it should be. Pleasure being sown to the flesh. So you had something you want to start with? Uh, which one? No, nah, I, I got Galatians five and sixteen. Okay, bro, uh, you want to start got. right there? Come on. All right, Galatians five and sixteen. It says, "This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh." Come on. And uh, I want to bring out that. What they got in the Greek for the word uh, walk Come on. real quick. Because it ain't talking about <laughs> me and a brother was uh, joking, joking around. It ain't like there's some spiritual past shoes you, you jump in <laughs> and you start walking around in them and now you walking in the spirit. Walking on sunshine. All right. So for the word walk in Galatians was five and sixteen. I'm gonna let Esau give the pronunciation. Strong's G four thousand forty three. Peripateo. Peripateo. And it says uh, to walk, to make one's way progress, to make due use of opportunities. It says uh, Hebrew for to live, mm. uh, to regulate one's life, to conduct oneself, to pass one's life. Yeah. So to keep it uh, simple, it's talking of dealing with our conduct. It yes. says walk in the spirit. It's talking conduct yourself. All right. Uh, order your life. All right. Yes. In the, in the spirit. That. Yes. And how do you do that? By following the, the, the scriptures. Right. It is that simple. Because we all know when we're going to do something, man, whatever it is that we're going to do, we should be weighing it out in our mind. Like, man, one, is this lawful? Two, is it expedient? Three, you know, if it's, if it's not expedient, then, you know, just let it be, you know, and keep it to, to, to where you're not going off, you know? That's it. And uh, this, the word spirit is uh, got a capital S. So it's dealing with the, uh, yes. the Holy Spirit. Yes. The Holy Spirit is the understanding of the, of the scriptures. Yes. And we have that. We it's the scriptures, but not just the scriptures by itself. It's 
the uh, the the understanding of the, of the scripture. Yes. All right. So we that's how we're supposed to conduct ourselves. All the uh, the information in the proverbs, inform the 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 in which that's just King Solomon really giving game. Yeah. On how to think, what to watch out for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Watch out for uh, different doctrines. Watch out for uh, this is how you. Uh, this is what you need to know about women. Yes. Watching out for women, you know. Yes. So forth and uh, so on. The Book of Ecclesiastes. Yeah. The Book of Wisdom of Solomon. Yeah. Of course, we got the we have the uh, the law, statutes, and commandments. Yeah. All right. Follow the instructions. Right. Paul gives, uh, just giving some examples, Paul gives good uh, mindset when you read the, the epistles that Paul uh, wrote. Yes. You know? And that's what we're reading right here uh, in Galatians 5 and 16. It says, yes. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Yeah. Don't mean you ain't, we got to, you know, uh, uh, dealing in, in his flesh because we in the flesh, right? But fulfilling the lust of the flesh, every little thing that make you happy and things that you you want to uh, uh, pleasurable things. pleasurable things that you want to do, uh, you don't want to be uh, consumed in that. that. Yes, you know, even if it's lawful, right? You know, because we shouldn't be doing nothing that's not lawful anyway, even though. You know, we all slip up. We in the flesh. We gonna right. slip. But offend less, you know? Yeah. Uh, verse, it was, uh, yes. uh, verse 17 as well. <clears throat> Galatians 5 and 17, it says, For the flesh lusted against the spirit. Yeah. In, uh, in other words, Paul expressed this in uh, Romans the 7th chapter about how Basically, he talks about the battle of the flesh versus the spirit. Yahweh should say that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is, is weak. Because we want to, being Israelites, we want to do what's, what's right. Okay? But then because we're in this flesh, you know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta fight against it. Yes. So, uh, uh, the flesh is weak, but... You know what I'm saying? We we get strength really through the through the spirit. Yes. It says, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. I mean what we want to do, which is we want to do uh, what's right. Yes. The, the the law, the law, statutes, and commandments tell us what's right uh as well as the examples i gave yes you know that tell you this is how you're supposed to do do things this is how you're supposed to think this is how you're supposed to conduct yourself your conversation should be this way not that way you know right uh the this one of the one thing of this one sentiment of this kingdom that we living in is uh, being gluttonous, just simply eating food. Now we know we in this truth. We gonna eat a lot. We gonna eat uh, within the the dietary law, right? But glut being uh, the, the, what about the spirit of gluttonous? That old buffet spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, eating all the time, and eating I gotta eat. Just shit is coming at your ears, right. stuffing yourself. Well, no, nah, it's lawful to eat steak, but your stomach is protruding your 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 uh, belt because you're so full of beef or whatever. You know, eating in excess of whatever it may be that's right. lawful. You know. So the food eating eating lawful. That's even if we gonna eat the lawful food, but you going off when you excess in excess, and that's pretty much in uh in every category. That's the the sentiment of this wicked ass kingdom we live in is to overindulge yes. in to the overindulging in the flesh. Yes, absolutely. Yes, and the way that this system is set up, 
is set up to cater to your flesh. You know, like we 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 tease when we be saying, you know, you know, you got Las Vegas, which they call that sin city, where really at America itself is sin city. Right. Okay. Everything here is geared towards pleasure. Whether it be you can go right now, me and this brother can get up and go somewhere and get all of the different drugs that they got. From fentanyl to crack cocaine to whatever it may be. We can get up and go get all the pills, the Adderall and the Xannies. We can go get that shit right now. It's ready available. Oh, if we want to go mess with men's women, we can go do that. We can get online and do that. It's just whatever it, it, whatever you want to get into here is there. It's there for you to get into. Like the brother mentioned, the buffets. And see the things I named, they, that's not lawful, you know? But like with a buffet, yeah, they got lawful food there, but Jake going there and eat till they can't move. Yep. Yeah, what about uh, being with your, uh, if you, you know, brothers that deal with women, or not, I don't say that, brothers that have women, we deal with women. Yes. Brothers that have women or whatever, yeah, we can have, you can have a woman. You can get you, you know, the scriptures say uh, through the mouth of Paul, uh, it's better to marry than to, than to burn. Boy. But if you, uh, all you doing is getting boxed. Yeah. You all you thinking about is I got to get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes. Then you, you, uh, you fulfilling the, the lust flesh. of the flesh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to, we got to, you got to keep that within uh, uh, in bounds, keep it in bounds. In bounds, yeah. <laughs> keep it in the proper perspective. Yes, man. don't let that abound. Shit. Right. Anything you could be uh uh extra get being a uh, health freak. Yeah. Or yeah. uh yeah. work exercise. You just you 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 training more than you uh really engage in the in the in the ministry. Yeah. You know, are you training, you know, more than you, you know, you so focused on training your uh, walk, your conduct. Yeah, yeah, you rehearsing the righteous act, but you caught up into this to something that's really like uh, of the flesh. Yeah. You know, vain. It is, it's, it's vain. And it's out when you, yo, 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 uh, Progress, yes, in the walking in the spirit, yes, yes. Because again, at this point in the game, we should be growing, you know, like the scriptures say, you know, going from glory to glory, right? And I ain't, you know, it's good to get your exercise yeah, on yeah, if brothers yes. want to, you know, do that. That's yes. a good thing, you know, but uh, you we don't want to be in a damn uh, uh, living in the gym, yeah. You got some people they call them gym rats, yeah, gym rats. They stand there, they, they body, they worried, looking, and you know, I'm, you know, all in the mirror, yes. and concerned with, concerned with that, you know. Yeah. And another thing too, um, we all came out of the, out of this effed up world. Yes. You know that we was, we was uh, indoctrinated with this westernized way of thinking. So you know, it's another reason Paul is having to. Uh, or the, well, I, Paul with the scriptures is telling us to you know walk in the spirit and not the uh, the flesh because we came up when we were in the world we came up in the flesh. Yes, indeed. It's all about fulfilling the lust of the flesh. That's what they go out, have fun, fun. make a lot of money, get your get your uh, have a lot of women or get your wife, whatever. But just do as thou wilt and enjoy life. Yeah. And and we got to get away from that because it's all it's like you mentioned earlier it's it's wicked. This whole kingdom is a wicked ass kingdom. Yeah. You know. Yeah. There's no promotion of righteousness here. So when you engage in this in this world, it's a, a high probability that you can get yourself into some trouble. Trouble. Yeah. All right, where we at?
Uh, you read Galatians 5 and 7? Yeah, 5 Come and 17. Uh, get Galatians 6 and 8. All right, Galatians. Galatians 6 and verse 8. It says, For he that soweth to the flesh shall the flesh reap corruption. That's just what uh, we was talking about. Yes. Why Why is it, uh, why have you sowed to the flesh so you can understand, um, we, well, let me just read the scripture, Salaki. It says, for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting life. So whichever you, if you devote more time exactly. into this into the uh, to the flesh, which that means you you gear your energy and your your conduct more towards yes. shit that's going on in this in this world. Yes. Then that means you're gonna reap corruption. Yes. Meaning you're gonna be destroyed yes. on this side. Versus if you uh sow into the to the spirit. Yeah, exactly. You know, staying connected and engaged in this uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yes. yes. It said, then you should what? Read everlasting life. We gonna get we get that through the kingdom. Yep. It's not just some some uh, saying everlasting life. Right. And these wacky tacky Christians yeah, like yeah, to throw that everlasting around. life yeah. don't mean shit to them. It can It just sound good. Yes. This is not just a sound good. Thing when the scriptures talk about everlasting life, it's talking about literally everlasting life. Exactly. Okay, and we ain't we'll receive that when the kingdom is established. But to get to the to that uh, the kingdom, we gotta we gotta uh, sow to the spirit. Yes. Matter of fact, you wanna, I got a precept. Huh. I'm gonna jump to that Romans eight, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna read verse five. It say. Romans 8 and 5, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. And we want to be minding the things of the spirit because what? That is what is well pleasing to Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Right. Because you could be doing uh, things of this world and not necessarily be being wicked as hell. Yes. It's where's, where's your mind at? You know, is, is your mind on uh, elevating yourself in this world to where you, man, I want to, you know, grow my business and or I want to, you know, make money yeah, and get some cars or get a better, get a, get a, get a super, get a sports car or whatever the hell. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I want to uh, find that right woman. Or I want to. You want to be the playboy. Which well, you can have uh, uh, multiple women, but that's not ex really not expedient at this time. Sure ain't. Because you, you got know. to devote time to each one of them. And they are of the world for real. They are all in the world. They want to go out. They want to. They want to go eat breakfast here. They want to go to brunch. Indeed. They want to go to the movies. They want to go bowling. They want to take trips. They want trips. They want to go take cruises. Yeah, yeah. They want you to got to get a passport. And, and they want to put it all on Instagram and Snapchat. Oh, that's another. I'm glad you brought that up. Social media. Social media. That's really the biggest addiction. Probably one one of the biggest addictions of this of, that people have in this yes. kingdom, man. Yes. Is that social media? Yes, especially the women because it gives them they attention that they crave so that's them sowing to the flesh right there right because you know it was a point in time where you you know you go out you meet a female hey how you doing you exchange names uh have a little short little conversation if that then you get may exchange numbers. numbers now it's all about follow me on follow me on the instagram and TikTok. TikTok and Facebook and all this stuff. Yeah. Well, people are literally, you know, uh, putting out a fake persona. A persona of themselves 
through the social media. Yes. And they caught up into it. They steady, man, I wonder. Did you know I mean? get Who, some likes? Yeah, did I get likes? Who's in my DM? Did they share us? Right. How many retweets? Oh, Twitter. We keep forgetting Twitter. Right. So you, 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 that's so into the, being caught all up in the social goddamn media, man, is so into the flesh. Yes. And that's really the one women are into that shit. Men is into that shit just as much as yes. goddamn uh, females. Yes. And, it, and, and a lot of times it's because they chasing them females. Yep. And looking for females. I always oh. chasing want to have women. That's another thing too about sowing to the flesh because that's what most Jakers out here, that's what they even, that's what they're about. Yep. Chasing out the females. Chasing the skirts. Then doing it through, man, most of, most of that's done through the social media. Absolutely. And that takes time and yes, mind, mind, uh, you got to think and, and, and work, you got to, that got to be in your mind. You got to conjure up shit in your head to, to, to play that game, man. It, it take time. And that's something that's very valuable and that's something that we don't have a lot of. So, as as it said, it would behoove those out there at you know that's listening to be more into the spirit than to sowing to the flesh. Right. The I, women can get you caught up quick. Whether you get to get a pregnant, catch something, she gets you caught up caught in some drama. Some shit. Yes. Yes. Women of in this kingdom, well, they not women, they whores and they uh sluts and whores and they problematic. Yes, and they demons. And they potential like 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 in the, the movie The Matrix. Anybody that's not in the truth is a potential agent. Meaning the the demons are gonna jump on them and use them. Okay? And it's not going to be good for the person on the other end. I got one more. And this is Romans 8 and 13. It says, for if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. It's, it, this is so simple. Yeah, if your life is all about this life. And in other words, if your life is all about what's going on in this man's kingdom, Okay, forget about you're gonna die. Yeah, Here. because there's a uh, job that must be done in order to uh, receive salvation. Exactly. Though there's the who's gonna be saved, the elect is already predestined. That number is gonna show that they are of the elect by the way that they mm -hmm. conduct themselves, the way that they live their life. Yes. All right. Were How they, the hell it look? Were they walking in the spirit or was they sowing to their flesh? That's what it's, it's going to boil down to that. And we want to be on the end that the spirit got more numbers up than the flesh do. Oh. I'll, I'll finish it. Yeah. Say uh, Romans 8 13 For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body. In ye, other words, yes. no, you go ahead. No, go ahead, I go ahead. Yeah, mortify the what does that mean? Right. Uh kill the, the keep your flesh. keep your keep your uh um the lust of the flesh under control. Yes. Control All right? yourself. Control yourself. Cause it's going into like the uh the five senses. I like to, you know, go yeah. the five senses of uh, man, and that's where you get your receive your pleasures from. Yes, things you see, feel, uh, feel, taste, taste, smell, and uh, what the one touch. we get? Touch. You see, so don't go overboard. Yeah. Just, All right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cut off. The 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 Even conduct yes. the conduct yes. that's catering to the to the to the flesh. Yes. Yep. Yep. Because that's not gonna get us to the kingdom. 
That's not what's going to get us to the kingdom. And like the brother said, right now, we in a, a war. You know, we are in a war battling. So we can't get caught up in, in these, in, into all of these pleasures. Right. We need to be, like the scriptures say, building, building this temple, man, through the spirit. Right. You no. Know? And back in that scripture, it say, mortify the deeds of the flesh. In other words, kill the deeds. Yes, the actions. That the flesh is want to get into. Yes. Want to have fun, fun, like women, man. Women want to have fun, fun, fun. Just wanna have fun. You know, and that's the whole, but please yourself. And that, uh, without worrying about the consequence. Yeah. You know, that's what's being put. You go out, have fun. Don't worry about any consequences. Just enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. You know? Now, there is a consequence. Yes, it is. For us. You yeah. know? Yeah. Well, for everybody. Yeah, yeah. But we, just, we got the knowledge of what the hell we're supposed yeah. to be doing to escape this destruction that's coming. Exactly. And it, it is coming fast. I'll read the rest of mm -hmm. uh, Romans, the rest of Romans 8, 13. It says, but if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body. So it got to be the only, the only way to mortify it is through the spirit. Right. That's the way you stay away from engaging in this world heavily like that. Yeah. Stay in Keep tune. Keep that yes. at a minimum. Yes. Stay in tune with the brotherhood. Okay. Right. Get, get into this, into the scripture. Don't forsake the, like the scripture say, forsake Don't, not the assembly. Yeah, buddy. So, as much as you can, you know, be around the brothers. Yeah, we got lives. We got a, we got lives. We have to go to work. Certain brothers got families. You know, we got to deal with Esau's bullshit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so, within that, you know, within reason, of course. Be around the brothers as much as you as much as you can. So yes. if we having a fellowship, we having class, or, or we having whatever the hell we may be doing, you know, brothers, you want to be engaged in that because now, you know, you with the you with the brothers. Yes. Versus, ah, oh, well, shit, damn, brothers getting together today. Shit, I'm gonna hey, I, I ain't gonna be able to make it, bro. I got a got something we had going on, and you out on the date. With uh, with your with your girlfriend, <laughs> yeah, you might. I mean, you do that sometimes. Don't it be a, a pattern? This brother ain't never in in the uh, uh in, in the, the midst, fold. in yeah. the fold. But you always out doing something. You at the bar. You with the girlies. You you in the you at the gym. You at a restaurant. You just you are doing. You out and about. Yeah. Or are you at home on the game? <laughs> at home on the All game. the time. Yeah. Are you watching episodes? Are you watching <laughs> Power <call> Saw. <laughs> <laughs> you know more about power than you know about the break these breakdowns. Straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? Um Oh, let me finish it. It says back in Romans 8 13, but if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body. And we gave an example. Yes. That Go to class. Go to camp. Yeah. You got it, huh? Uh, if, but if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. Yeah. Then you get the life. So it show you the consequence of one. It show you the consequence of the other. It give you the consequence of following after and sowing to the flesh. Death. Destruction, but if right. you, if you mortify the deeds of the body through the spirit, then you shall what get life again, right. everlasting. Right, because you know Yahweh Shai is not coming to deliver any old individual. Yeah. yeah, you know we're supposed to be cleaning ourselves up, preparing ourselves as a, a bride. Right. Uh, for the groom. Bridegroom, yes, right. For the bride, yeah, for the bridegroom, all right? We supposed to be uh, uh, 
preparing ourselves. Yes. Our minds is with and our minds which is gonna transition over into how we conduct ourselves. Yeah. You see, so that we're worthy to, to get beamed up. Yeah. Just like the women did in the ancient time, they would bathe themselves in oil for months. Well, we bathing ourselves in spiritual oils. Okay? Getting ready for the bridegroom, man. Like the brother said, the the Lord ain't coming back for any Israelite. Yeah, just because you know you're Israelite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not enough. That's not enough. Cause I know a lot of people that know that they the Israel that we the Israelites. But they in the world in the world more than people that's in the world. Yes, sir. Well, they just in the world. Just put it like just put that. it like that. They in the world and they know they Israelite. That's it. You know. You had anything nah, else? Well, wow. shit. That's it. You know. Lord willing, this was edifying. We're gonna close, and it's on to the next one. Until then, we say shallow one. Shallow one.